Hey, thanks for joining us for CPSB TV. I'm Caleb Kopecki. And I'm Lane Holsey. Coming up, there's a new sheriff in town. And that sheriff is Mr. Poole, the new principal of Sulphur High. And if you're looking for a job, you might need a resume. We'll have some tips to help you get hired. Also, lots of teens are good at coming up with excuses. Who would have imagined? We'll hear some of the wild stories that teachers hear, but first, many teens are starting to look for a summer job. And a lot of those jobs will require a resume, a list of your accomplishments, and work experience. Business teacher Kathleen Crick says correct spelling and proper grammar are important. And you should avoid lying because employers may check up on you. You should take time to make a quality resume. So you want to be called for an interview, so you want to make sure that your resume stands out among the rest of the other applicants. So you want to have a nice heading, nice uh, contact information, you want to put, um, you want to sell your skills and um, sell yourself, saying that you can do all the, list all the things that you've done prior to this job and how you will benefit and be an asset to this company when that you go to work for them. That's what they're all looking for. And that'll help you get a better story. Success pack. having a steady work history helps in getting a job. Hopping from job to job in a short time doesn't look good. Sulphur High has the new man in charge. David Poole from Sam Houston was recently named principal of Sulphur. Our boy John Hooks talked to him about what's ahead for the school. Today I'm sitting down with Sulphur High's new principal, David Poole. Tell us about your background and why you decided to be principal of Sulphur High. Okay. Um, uh, served the last 15 years as an assistant principal. Uh, prior to that, I was a teacher and coach here at Sulphur High School. And um, I, I've worked at several schools, gained a lot of experience at different, different schools, different types of schools. Uh, and so I'm excited to be here at Sulphur High School. Uh, my father is a retired teacher from Sulphur High School and I was born and raised in blue and gold and uh, it's, it's good to be home. Uh, I live in the community and my wife is an elementary teacher out in Carlos at Vincent Settlement, so it's, it's good to be back here. What are your goals for Sulphur High? Uh, I want Sulphur High to be the number one school in the parish um, in, in every a aspect, not uh, just athletics, not just academics, not, uh, but whether it be I want us to have the number one band, choir, athletic teams uh, and academically I want us to be the number one school in the parish that, that's my goal I am competitive uh, in nature and uh, so it's it's my desire to that we at Silver High School are the example uh, for the rest of the parish what changes can students expect <laughs> a few changes um, I can say that uh, uniforms will be uh, back in force next year as far as there'll be uh, a, a, few, a few changes as far as requirements for those. Um, other than that right now, um, you know, we want, like I said, our, our, my goal is academically for us to be the number one school in the parish. And so uh, as students, I, I'm, I want to push y'all to to strive for that, not only for the school, but for, for yourself. And uh, just that uh, we can be, and I think we have the potential here to be um, uh, a great school that people from all over the state can look at. Is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, just that I'm excited to be here at Sulphur High. It's a great place. Uh, we have a great community that is supportive. Um, it is an awesome deal that we are the only high school in town. And so um, historically it's um, people, grandparents have come here, their parents have come here and their children have come here. And so we've got a lot of history. And uh, so that, that makes um, Sulphur a special place. And so I'm just, uh, like I said, excited to be here and looking forward to uh, the challenges that uh, lay ahead of me. I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. I'm sure Mr. Poole has heard all kinds of excuses from students who aren't doing what they're supposed to do. What's typically your excuse for missing school or turning in late work? <laughs> I don't have one. I'm a model student. We got, some, we got with some of the teachers to see what they said. The dog died. Um, they were out late last night 
and they had to go to a party that they really didn't have to go to and uh, their parents uh, punished them. They couldn't get on the computer. Well, as far as for not coming to school, pretty much everybody says they're sick. So that, I don't know if that's really an excuse or if it's true. There seem to be a lot of serious illnesses and broken bones and surgeries lately. So I, I think it's pretty legitimate. The dog ate it. For real? <laughs> I've never used those excuses before. Well, some students who are usually on their best behavior are exchange students. At Sulphur High, there are many exchange students who are able to share information about where they're from. We spoke to student Rain Alberta about the Philippines. I'm from the Philippines, Balanga City. What I like the most here is like, I get to meet uh, new people from different countries also and I get to um, know the American culture. Racism, you know, yeah, you know why. <laughs> yeah, because like, it has like different culture, like a different, whole different culture than in my country. Independent here and back home because like when we're like planning to hang out, we just like to tell our parents first before like we hang out. So if they let us go out, then don't. But he, I think it's here like you want to go out when you want to. Uh, back home we do a lot of things. We do a lot of activities. We do like theaters, role plays, dance things. And then here you gotta do like all academics. Students are continuing to learn about different countries from their new classmates. Do you love animals? Yeah, I do! You ever thought about what animal would make a good president? No, but let's find out. Gorilla, because they're beautiful and they have good thumbs and they can like grab stuff. A cow, it's the milk ones, because they can provide for our country. I think a monkey would make a good president because they're really smart and they're like the closest to humans and I think they would be good at a sea otter, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Why? A sea, cause like, it's a sea otter, like. The bald eagle, cause it's American. Well, that's it for this show. Thank you for tuning in, and remember to follow us at CPSB TV on the gram, the twit, and the tube. Catch you next time.